I'm Sarah Evans, I'm the Senko at Tapton School. A print disability is a specific learning difficulty which isn't necessarily an indicator of intellect or cognitive ability, but it is a specific difficulty with reading, recording, writing, and it can take many different forms. In our school, where we have students with a visual impairment who work with the vision support department, a lot of the work that we do crosses over very much, so the techniques that are used with uh, students with uh, visual impairments are very similar to the ones that we might use in our department uh, with students with dyslexia or dyscalculia. My name's Anna Pilson, I'm a teacher of the visually impaired and I'm based here at Tapton School. There's a number of strategies that teachers can employ to support learners with a print disability. Teachers might want to have keyword lists, you could provide that in braille or large print. Uh, they might want to provide word banks or word mats. You can uh, use screen readers on laptops such as JAWS and Clicker. Clicker in particular was designed for children with specific learning difficulties rather than a visual impairment. Clicker will read out documents word by word or the whole document so it's audio and you can use it with headphones. A device that I've started using over the past couple of years is the RNIB Pen Friend because you can record information um, onto little barcode stickers that come with the device and the people can listen back, they can also voice record. Recently um, a lot of children with a print disability have been accessing text using iPads um, there's a lot of inbuilt accessibility features which can be really beneficial to help them to access print. Uh, I'm Sam, I'm from Tactic School, I have dyslexia. Um, some of the things I use in class is like laptops, reading guides, coloured paper. I've done my science GCSEs this year and my health and social care. And I, I'm pretty confident they went really well. I feel like a lot better well equipped to go through the rest of my GCSEs, not, not being held back with my dyslexia. I feel like I couldn't get through year 11, then college or sixth form, and maybe even uni. My name is Yanko and I am 14 and uh, I got to glaucoma. I can't see writing, I do braille, um, I can see only shapes and big numbers. I came into UK in 2007. In class mainly I use my laptop. Um, in maths I use my brailler because I'm to braille numbers. When you consider a student like Yanko who arrived in Britain with no English and having that extra barrier of a visual impairment. He's just about to finish year nine and we have really high hopes that he's going to achieve top grades in his GCSEs. And that's thanks to using a combination of the technology available, using strategies to support his literacy development. I think I'm, when I'm accessing the work that I need in Braille on my laptop, I'm just the same like everybody else. The advice that I would give to any student teacher starting off and uh, discovering that they've got students with print disabilities in their class is to go and talk to people that have taught those students before, uh, to gain as much uh, information on the student before meeting the child, uh, to talk to the child um, in a sensitive, tactful way about their needs, um, and also to look for the resources that are available uh, to them in order that they may access the curriculum as well as any other child. A really useful resource for teachers to access is the Low to Learn website which was launched by RNIB in the past couple of years. Um, it contains many resources uploaded by teachers and technicians from across the country and that can support learners with a print disability really well. Um, and a final tip would be um, when you're planning your lessons Try not to plan your lesson and then think, oh, how am I going to change it to include the child with dyslexia or the child with visual impairment. Try and take an inclusive approach from the start. For learning resources in accessible formats, visit lowtolearn.org.uk. RNIB, supporting people with sight loss.